Listen, I just want to come and tell somebody to trust your intuition. This is going to be a short message, y'all. But listen, I'm coming because God has led me to say this, to trust your intuition. I don't know what you're praying about. I don't know what you're asking God a confirmation for. I don't know if you already know the answer. But God is saying, trust your intuition. You already know. God has given you discernment whether you need to cut this person off. God has given you discernment whether or not you need to take the position. God has given you discernment whether or not you need to get in a relationship with this person. God has given you discernment about whether or not you should let somebody back in your life. Trust your intuition. You don't have to ask anybody anything outside of yourself, outside of God. You connect with him. You pray unto him. You trust him. And on today, he's telling you to trust your intuition. Don't second guess it. Don't doubt it. Don't be in fear. Listen, y'all, when you're in fear about something, that's from the enemy. If, if God has blessed you with something or God is telling you to do something and you feel fearful about it. Now, it's a difference between uh, being nervous and fearful. Yes, you should have a little bit of nervousness if it's something that God is calling you to do out of your comfort zone. That keeps us humble. But I'm talking about fear. Fear where you can't even move forward. Fear where you're not even sure if you're coming and going. Fear that somebody is, you know, after you. That kind of stuff. Like, y'all listen, that's from the devil. But on today, I'm just coming to tell you and to confirm that God is saying, trust your intuition. Trust your intuition, y'all. We go through these isolation seasons. We go through these times where we have to walk alone because God gives us that spirit of discernment in those seasons. He strengthens that in those seasons so that when we do go out, mix and mingle with people, when we do go out and apply for the position, when we do go out and apply for the loan, when we do go out and do all these different things, we will be solid in who we are. We don't have to ask anybody their opinions. We don't have to ask anybody to validate us. None of that. God is saying, you are it. You are the answer. Trust what he's telling you. Trust what your spirit is telling you. Somebody need to hear this on today, y'all. Because listen, when I give these messages, let me just tell y'all something about me. When I give these messages, y'all, most of the time it's something that I've already come out of. It's very rare that I give a right now message, meaning that I'm currently going through that thing. God usually allows me to come in and give my experience or give my encouragement or motivation or whatever it is after I've overcome that thing. This right here, I have no clue who he's talking to, but he wants you to know that you need to trust your intuition. Stop second guessing it. Don't ask anybody else their opinions and what they think. They cannot tell you. You're the first one that's doing it, so they can't give you no instructions. You are the blueprint. God has given you the blueprint. So you building it up. You're the first to do it. You can't ask anybody else. They have no clue. I don't care what it is, whether you ask them for advice on your relationship, asking them advice whether or not you should go this place, that place, whatever it is. God is saying, trust your intuition. Trust the discernment that he's giving you. Trust the spirit that is speaking to your spirit. This is your confirmation. This word is not for everybody. But if it's for you, you know it's for you. Trust your intuition period.